G'day guys, welcome back to G-Man Speaks. Today we're gonna to take a look at a video by a creator called Anna Bay. Anna Bay is a very big uh, YouTuber. She has 1.84 million subscribers. And this video is called 10 Clichés Cheap Men Love Saying. Now this particular video is about four years old. It has 560,000 views. So I just wanna give you a bit of a understanding of the range there's some of this nonsense that is um, spat out to women, which who eat it all up as gospel has, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Ladies, if you hear this from your man, run. That's what they do anyway, guys. I've been married and they bloody do that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this, uh, this is true to form. We don't give them what they want. They're at the door pretty bloody quick. I can tell you that much. This is... Um, this is like uh, reality TV here. Because the chances are high that this cheapskate or slash freeloader <laughs> is just here for his own benefit. Oh, okay. My dear elegant ladies, welcome back to another video. Ladies, today I really need to warn you for these... We're really here to warn you. Here's, welcome back to another video where I put poison in your mind and talk just absolute shit. Let's go. Top 10 cliches that I know many cheap men out there tend to use to manipulate women. And that I'm, I'm frugal and proud. Call me cheap. I, I'll wear that with a badge of honor. If you don't give women money and they call you cheap, guys, wear that as a badge of honor. I used to fall for that bullshit in the past, especially when I was a lot younger. I'm like, oh, well, no, no, I'm not cheap. I'm a real man. Here's some money, you know. A lot of guys fall for it, though. And never learn. I don't want my dear elegant ladies to be manipulated. So in today's video, I'm going to give you some things that you can tell these men when they come with these cheap cliches. Let's start with number one. I love independent women. Oh, you know what I love? I love strong, masculine men. I love men who look after their women and treat their women like a goddess. Oh, come on goddess with in her feminine energy because a masculine see how they play on the word play there play at the male ego they're very good they're very good and manipulative and this woman's a master manipulator they'll, they'll say things like a real man a good man a masculine man doesn't make his woman pay so therefore if you don't pay you're a dirty little scumbag you're not a man you're a weasel i'm a proud weasel guys proud weasel I've got some stories of where I was pretty staunch on not paying, um, and it did not go down well. <laughs> I can tell you that. I'll go, I can share them another time. It's not for this video, but uh, some really funny scenarios. There is nothing more attractive than when a man steps into his masculinity Ooh. and really looks after Ooh. his woman like a true gentleman. Ah, that's what I love. That's what I love. I take your money out of your wallet and I kill you. I love that. I, I talked about this in uh, another video. It's probably going to go up either before this one or, or the same day. Where I talk about the women, okay? Women calling men cheap. I've always had an opinion on this. I've tried to articulate this uh, to other men. Most guys don't get on board with it because they've been brainwashed, okay? But uh, hear me out of my logic here. I always say this, women are the cheapest creatures on earth. Why? They have videos and courses and shit like this to get men and manipulate men into paying for things for them so that they don't have to pay for it. So they're calling men cheap to try and get money out of men when really they're cheap because they're the ones that don't want to pay and trying to get other guys to pay for them. Cheapest creatures on earth and they're very good at it. They're very good at it. My ex-girlfriend only used me for my money. Well, then you know how it feels for us women when men only use us for sex. Oh, they pull that one out. Slurries love it. They love it. Yeah, <sighs> Women love it, okay? Like, this, was, this is a huge myth that for me, especially um, in my womanizing days and through a lot of the stuff that I did that I really realized that it's a lie that men are told is it's like a gift. Like men get action from a woman. It's like they've given you something. Okay. No, no, no. They love it just as much as you, if not more. They're out hunting. Uh, they're like little horny little possums out at night behind the cricket ground in cars getting, getting 
dug, uh, guts dug out by Brycey. I can tell you firsthand, been there, done it many occasions. They, men don't use women for sex. Both people get it. <laughs> like, it's like they're not getting anything. It's like, well, like, like they lend you their vagina and you use it as a fleshlight. Like, like, I've never understood that logic. Yeah, both people are partaking in it. No one's being used. Yeah, maybe the guy won't commit, okay? He's gotten the action, but you've still got something. you got sex. As where when a man gets used for money, he doesn't get anything for spending that money. Uh, he spends the money, it's gone, and the woman disappears onto the next idiot without committing to us and without ever taking full responsibility by committing. providing for us like a true gentleman would do. Good on committing, guys. Ooh, I just want a commitment. Yeah, and the second you stop looking after them like a gentleman would, that commitment means jack shit. This is how we women feel used. If I pay for today's date, will you pay the next? What? Oh, if I have to pay for a date, there won't be a next. Scumbag, tight ass, you know? That's all I can say to these birds. They, they make it like they're high class. They're upper market because they're not paying for shit. Other people need to pay for things for them. So really, they're scumbag slurries because they don't have any money or they don't want to spend any money. That's not high class to me. You go, girl. You go, girl. Uh, you're a boss babe. You're an influencer. You're a YouTube star like this lady. This is all an act. This is all bullshit. I'm pretty sure when the cameras turn off, she ain't carrying on like this, but she... Make so much money off these idiots buying her courses, watching her stupid videos, and actually putting this stuff out into practice. Okay? So women who are like, oh, well, I'm high value and blah, 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 but oh, I'm not going to ever pay for anything. I've never understand that because a high value, like they, try and, they try and emulate what a high value man is by being a boss babe having money. So therefore, spend some money then, you tight ass, you cheapskate, you dusty old broads. Uh, I will never be convinced. I'll never be convinced. I'll take. I'll die on that hill, guys. That women are not the biggest tight asses in the world. I've always thought it. And other blokes are like, nah, you can't say that. That's not how it works. You're not a gentleman. No, I'm not a fucking gentleman. Not anymore. That got smacked out of me 15 years ago. <laughs> uh, but keep being a gentleman, guys. Keep paying because that makes you a gentleman. Good boy. Get some words of affirmation. I don't like materialistic women. Well, I don't like cheap men. You see, women are <laughs> gatherers from an evolutionary psychology take. Men are hunters, women are gatherers. This has been part of our genetic programming for millions of years. Now, men are being celebrated for being hunters, but women are continuously shamed by our society for having this instinct of wanting to own things. They call us materialistic and they shame us for it. And in my opinion, this is sexist. <laughs> oh. what, what world do these people live in? There's, there's no... She's talking about hunter-gatherers, okay? Uh, no, men are hunters. Uh, men are providers. Women are extractors of resources. Gathering means that a man can hunt and the women can work with the man to gather. That's my understanding of it. You're a team. The woman goes and does uh, lighter efforts, like uh, gathering berries and picking them off trees and strawberries and shit like that. Whatever they would have done fucking back 50,000 years ago. And the guy goes out and with his mates and he fucking kills a tiger with a spear. But they're still working together to have, their, have everything for the tribe or family or whatever it is. No, no, it isn't the guy hunts the meat and the chick just takes all the meat off the guy and he gets fucking nothing. Like, that's not how it works. That's not sexist. That is misandrist then. I'm going to say that is sexist, what she is saying. Men are just, uh, they're just there to give money. Um, they're ATMs. All right, guys, about halfway through. If you're enjoying this content, please sub to the channel. Aiming for 10K subs and your support is greatly appreciated. The best way you can help me and this channel grow, guys, is to watch my videos through to the end or as far as you can stomach. I know some of them are pretty hard to watch at times with some of this bullshit that they talk about. YouTube values that and that's what pushes me out in the algorithm and gets me out to my eye more eyeballs. Let YouTube pay me. You guys don't have to pay for anything. All right, let's keep going. If you want equality, why should men be paying 100% of the time? We want equal rights, but that doesn't mean that we are equals. We are not biologically equal. Men and women are built differently. 
So let's not pretend that we are equals because that's just a manipulation men use and society uh, use for the man's benefit. Women have far more disadvantages financially uh, in society, but also biologically. This is why we need to stop talking about being equals and instead focus on what's fair. And what's fair- Wow, oh, my head's about to explode. I'm like, no comment. Fair is actually if the man takes some form of responsibility, provides for his woman, and like this, we would be able to at least balance out some of the unfairnesses that happen between the sexes because of the <laughs> reasons what? and because how our society is built. Oh my God, men have been getting a divorce grape for kingdom to kingdom come forever. I have I, I, this is a thing providing. Um, sustenance, care, nurturing, and safety for a woman is a lot. I agree with that. It's a lot different than just asking for shit, pointless shit, being wasteful, wanting fucking bags and clothes and holidays and you fucking name it, cars and car loans you don't want, bigger houses than you fucking need. That's not providing. That's that, that that's extracting value. That's taking someone else's money to get shit you want for yourself without contributing anything in return. What are you giving the guy? What's she gonna, what, have they said, well, uh, okay, the guys, these guys are cheap asses, but then how do we also rationalize how we can ask for these things about complaining and saying, oh, women were fucking uh, second rate citizens or something and uh, they need to give money to try and balance this out. We want equal rights, but not equality. What does that even mean? I want to be with a woman who doesn't depend on me. Well, that I believe is a responsibility to both the man and the woman to make sure that that doesn't happen in the relationship. From the man's side, he has to truly offer her an allowance so that she <laughs> contains her independence. She doesn't have to ask him for money every time she wants. Hang on, he gives her an allowance, but she's not asking him for money? What? What does that even mean? Fucking hell, I feel sorry for you guys who take on these fucking... Um... These chicks from the block, I tell you what, the Eastern block. On something and so that she actually can have some form of savings in case she would need it for a rainy day. Now, with regards to the woman, <laughs> she has to take her responsibility. She needs to have an education. She needs to have work experience. Okay. And of course, she needs to have savings. Like this, she will always be independent no matter what happens. Plus, <laughs> I, I, I think that's fine. Hang on, see what she's saying. Uh, she so she saves all of her money, spends his money that he gives to her for an allowance, and also saves that for the inevitable time that she decides to fuck off on him, so that she can make an escape using the money that he gave her to fuck him over. What? And they say that with a smile. They say it like it's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. This way, a man will never be able to use that against a woman in order to kind of lock her down in a relationship. However, I am aware that there is a small percentage of women who are just too lazy to work and believe that staying with a man, even if they don't like him, is better than going and work full time in, in some job that they hate. Now, I don't support that type of behavior, but unfortunately, there will always be people out there who just do things like this. However, I don't think it's fair for the rest of the female population. Yeah, if you start to become comfortable with someone or whatever, who gives a fuck? Just, just get rid of them. Get another one, eh? Get another one. To be judged and categorized as these type of women just because a small percentage does it. Most women are not like this. Most women are intelligent and smart and will want to keep their independence as much as possible. So let's not generalize everybody. If you want to be independent, fine. Don't cohabitate or live with a man. Problem solved. Same for you guys at home. Because once you do that, there is, you're not independent. You're both uh, relying on each other to, to be better in life. So people would say, I want to be an independent woman. A woman, if she wants to shack up with you, is not an independent woman. You're on your own. Independent means you are alone. You operate alone. It doesn't mean you operate with someone, take all the advantages out of the man, but also live your own life the way you want on top of that. Shit as fucking deal there is. And I think that, that is poison that is being pushed out by Western society, media, these bullshit channels out there that normalize that sort of thing. And guys think, oh, okay, hang on. If I want to have an independent, high-powered woman, I'm going to take her on board. 
uh, get nothing in fucking return apart from agony complaints and spending your money and eventually get fucked off by a bird like this. They're not going to stay. Guys, do me a favor. If you ever date a woman like this and you're thinking about popping the question, okay? Because every guy thinks, ah, oh, nah, it's not going to happen to me. It's not going to happen to me. I want you to look 50 years into the future, 30 years into the future, and think, what, do I think it would even last that long with this woman? How would I be as a man dealing with this woman for 30 years? And this is the best she's going to be before you get married. It goes downhill after there most of the time. Can you stomach that? Most guys, you're lying if you're saying yes. Lying to yourself. And just focus on what's fair for the woman. So you want me to pay you a salary for being with me? This is not a job. This is not a salary. This is a very skewed way of looking at it. <laughs> it's like as if you are literally passively aggressively calling a woman to be a prostitute. Only very defensive. Uh, yes, more or less. Like, like, how is it not? So they're giving you money. It's transactional. That is the absolute definition of that. If men would say such a thing oh, yeah, and defensive. they would use it as a manipulation strategy in order to shame her. A true gentleman who takes full ownership of his masculinity would actually feel honored to be able to support the woman that he how, how can she say this shit? Like literally, I think she's almost bursting into laughter here. This is just this is a psyop, surely. Like this is the most outrageous, nonsensical, lopsided, misandrous bullshit I've ever seen. Like or, or I mean, there's a lot of bad shit on the internet on YouTube that women lap up and buy books and courses. And literally, you think that they would see through this. A lot of women literally fucking take this advice. I've been on dates, dating out, speaking to women who literally say this exact parrot, this shit. Like, so this is not something that people look at and laugh at and go, yeah, whatever. Right. He has by his side and that he truly cares for. He will want to offload her shoulders with some of the burden. <laughs> so it's all about from what perspective you look at it. What do you bring to the table? Yeah, fucking Are nothing. you seriously asking me this? Yes. It's like you're only with me because of the money. Well, do you know, as women, we have to constantly wonder and worry about, is he with me because of the sex or because of the looks or because I cook so well or clean so well or does his dirty love? Wow, you do basic things. Basic bare minimum. Look at her little face. Do you want that thing yelling at you? Fuck, take it on, you high value man, if that's what you want. Pay for this bloody thing screaming at you, not rooting you and not even wanting to cook or clean or do anything in the house. Because that's slavery. <laughs> uh. Laundry. I don't know. You're acting entitled. You know that men act entitled on a daily uh, basis? Okay. And it's fully normal. They act entitled when every day they are in bed, humping your leg, wanting sex from you. That's the only argument she could ever say. Yeah, cool. Guys love sex. So what? It's a bare buddy minimum requirement of being in a relationship. <laughs> Men bad because they like sex. Oh, wow. Okay. Anything else? How are men entitled? We don't get things given to us most of the time unless you're from generational money. Most of us work our whole lives doing jobs we really don't want to do or would do if we weren't getting paid to do them. Stressing, um, sacrificing, giving up our freedom for women. How are we entitled? I would love to know. I would love to know. I know there are great, really good, hardworking women out there. I'm talking about these types, right? Not with reality. Not with reality in any way. And I think this is a scam, like a scam in her viewership who live in La La Land. You wanting this from you. And they don't feel shy when they want you to it's cook outrageous. something, to clean something, to run an errand, to look after the kids, to do this, to do that. Now that's okay. But as soon as a woman is asking for this one thing, then we are these entitled gold diggers. Yeah, yeah. Do you see the unfairness? No. Now ladies, not all men are of course like this. There are good men and there are bad men. But in this video, I'm targeting specifically the cheapskates. Yeah, I'm a cheapskate. Fuck, she's targeting me. I feel attacked. <laughs> Not really, fake eight. So, so really, what is this video? You really think about what this video is saying is majority of these women are targeting men because they want money and an easier life. They're just overtly marketing it here. It's just female, full female nature on display and raw. Whether this is bullshit grift and she wants people to, um, you know, sign up to her fantasy land, you know, it's like some sort of female Andrew Tate bullshit. 
Or she actually believes it. Regardless, it is showing you female nature. It is popular. It is being watched. It has 1.84 million subscribers. I'm pretty sure they're not men. I have very few of them are going to be men who are going to subscribe to this shit. So that's almost 2 million women in the world that are watching this woman on a regular basis spew this rubbish. So what's I got to tell you about what women really seek and value from men? Your money. What can they extract from you? Okay, not all of them. I'm going to say it's a vast majority going to think like this. And overtly like this. They'll talk to their friends about it, especially the single ones, the ones who maybe are shacked up and play their cards right, because and play their cards right, could be a bit more realistic. And they've got a man, and a man is happy to do what he's got to do, right? But these ones here, these are the ones on the dating apps. Talk about masculine energy and uh, female empowerment goddesses who receive money and love, and men are the providers who give. Men love to give money to women. Men love that. I fucking don't. I'm pretty sure most of you guys at home don't just like giving your money to chicks to get nothing in return. Really what? A root. Go fucking pay for it from a hooker. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. Um, hopefully uh, you guys made it through and you can stomach this uh, bullshit. <laughs> All right. Thank you. See you in the next one.